Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for a heyday video. Now I asked the other day, what would you like to see me create in this event area that I've got in my dev build design? And one person wanted to know about the actual bird houses and how many birds can fit into the bird house. Well, the actual answer to that is all of them can fit into the bird house and that's the way it's designed. So I'm gonna use this actual event area that I've got here that I screenshotted and shared with you already to make a design. Now to do this with the birdhouse, I need to actually buy the birdhouse. So if we come into the actual animal homes, you can see all of the homes there that I've got. Now because it's the dev build, I can modify and change this very, very easily. So I'm gonna drag that building out into the design. And once I've dragged it out there, it's then able to contain the animals. Now, because this is a birdhouse, I'm going to need specific birds for it. And you can get those birds by buying them from the actual pet section with all of your livestock and pets. Now, when you look at the birds, you'll see there's quite a lot of them and they're all of a different design and making character and personality. And I do like it because of that. The only trouble is each of the birds cost you what we call chick vouchers and those chick vouchers take some time to actually gather. Each bird requires a minimum of nine chick vouchers in addition to other colored vouchers. Now, your actual vouchers itself are contained in your voucher storage and you can have up to and including 25 chick vouchers, generally speaking. Now, when there are some special events, you might get a few more chick vouchers added to your storage, but most of the time, if you try to add more than 25, it won't actually let you. This is why when you come to the end of the month and the new farm pass starts please make sure you use all of your chick vouchers or at least reduce the quantities down now with the 25 i've got down there i can get at least two of the birds and i need to up and add more chick vouchers to it then before i can get even more so that's what i'm going to do at the moment i'm going to purchase all of my birds add them in now because of the dead build itself at the moment i can just add these birds down into the design they are hungry so they will walk around and look a little bit sorrowful wet and upset until i actually feed them which i will do later in the video so let's start adding. Now starting off with the peacocks, I do like the peacocks. Another great thing I like about these animals is the fact that you can actually name them as well. If you head on over to my main farm, uh, you'll see that I have actually named most of my animals. So why not tap on them and find out what they're called and maybe your name is one of those. Right, the third and final peacock. Beautiful animal. Next I'm going to add in the toucans. Of the two birds there, the peacocks and the toucans, I've always loved looking at peacocks. I really have. Both peacocks and peahens are interesting birds. Uh, however, toucans are also very nice as well. But uh, living in Japan and my usual travels that I've had in the past for my holidays, I've not really experienced many toucans. Now, I did know before that when I had this design, the birds kept escaping down the path. So I'm just going to add in some fence pieces there uh, just to block it off. That way, if they want to, they can go towards the top of my design and out through the back of my farm. But they won't run down my road and get squished by my truck as it comes backwards and forwards. Ooh, there's a chest there. Take that. Ooh, land booster. That's nice. Could do with some more boosters in the game, actually, for the new machines and products. So, hey, Dave, please do that. Now, we've been jumping ahead adding all of the animals, and that's been the key focus for me. There's the last one down there, which I think is beautiful. I love the herons living in Japan. I see a lot of herons, and I think they are gorgeous. Now, as you look down there, you can see there are a lot of birds in the actual collection. So, at the moment, I don't think anybody actually has all of them, but we are getting very, very close indeed. If you are starting out, there's at least 10 years worth of chick vouchers and collecting to do there. But with the events we've just had, you've been able to pick up quite a few chick vouchers. And that's what I'm hoping Heyday will do, add in more chick vouchers so we can build up a collection and it looks like this. Now, I've got all of the birds down there. They look wonderful. I like it, but I need to feed them. Now, when you go to feed them, you can see down there that there are a variety of items that can be used. They're all fruits and vegetable related, and as usual, all you need to do is just slide those out into the birdhouse. The animal will feed. Once they've fed, they will then move around and then fall asleep like other pets do within the game. And then you can activate it with the whistle to actually wake them back up, claiming your points and your rewards. 
swords, which I do like as well. My actual main farm has a very, very beautiful bird area design, which is why I wanted to make another video using this event area uh, for you and to be a little bit creative. Also to add in some decoration that I would like Heyday to add back into the game. I've got a young man who comes into my live streams and on my social media who's always asking for that one decoration to be added back in. Uh, it was for a very special event in the past. It is bird related and I must admit I'd like to have at least two or three of them so heyday when you watch the video later and we get into the design part of this please do think about adding it in now these are all the birds at the moment you can see them moving around I've been feeding them slowly there's specific feeding actions for some of them uh, some of my favorite feeding actions actually relate to uh, the bird kicking the bucket to the side and then eating uh, I do like them as they hop around and then fall asleep uh, unlike the actual pets who tend to sleep in the same area as the house the birds tend to just disappear wherever they are around the farm and sleep anywhere which can be a little bit annoying if you are looking for them this is why i think actually designing a bird enclosed area where they are restricted and within that area is much better so when you are creating your designs for the birdhouse take that into consideration that they do wander around which is okay uh, but they do fall asleep anywhere and everywhere so if you keep them enclosed in a nice little designed area it's much much better for you you. It creates a very wonderful Avery design uh, and I like it a lot myself. Now in this case you can see that because I'm in the dev build I've not got all the machines. I don't have a lot of the animal pens. Um, I'm technically a level 200 in this one but that's just for me to be able to add new machines and other bits for the testing stage if this were a real farm there's a lot more involved my land would be open completely uh, and maybe this little designed area that I'm making would not be exactly the same I've still got a lot of existing decoration in there like the trees the rocks and the water pieces uh, so when they change with the seasons that deco changes as well Right, all of the animals are fed. They are all sleeping now, as you can see. I can tap on them and wake them up. Uh, they all have their specific ways of sleeping and doing different things. But to wake them up, we can do them individually. Or because they do go everywhere and trying to find them is difficult sometimes, I can just wake them up from the birdhouse. Blow the whistle. And they wake up and they come running. I get my experience points and I get my birds. So in answer to the question, can you fit all of the birds into the house? The answer is yes, that's what it's designed for. Will Heyday add more birds in the future? I actually hope not. I hope this is it for now. I think there are sufficient birds there for us to collect and to add into this. I would like for Heyday now to give us another animal aspect within the game. Right, now this is the tree that the young man keeps asking me for. So it, this is the wonder tree. It's a beautiful colored tree with birds flying around it. It was for a very special event in the past. Uh, and it has this little water feature at the bottom as well. And it is absolutely stunning. And I must admit, I would like to have more than one. Like this design is using three of those pieces at the moment, which technically I can't do within the game itself, which is a shame. There's a lot of little decoration that we've been given over the years that I would love to have multiples of. And personally, I feel in some ways that once we get to a certain stage within the game, Heyday should just add all of that decoration to the general deco purchase option. So we should be able to buy it within the game for regular coins or vouchers or diamonds as an example. Like they do sometimes with the seasonal event deco where they bring it back. I do like the fact that they are adding decoration in and as you can see here like this piece I'm trying to do now and sometimes we can purchase more than one or two of those. But again that doesn't allow me to do what I want to do in the game. I want to be creative. 
I want to create seasonal designs. I want to create themes and I want to have fun with my farm. Um, I'm going to keep asking for this. I'm going to keep requesting this. So please add the decoration into the shop, not into the diamond or the real money shop. Uh, I love it there, but all the existing decoration that came in the past, all of the Derby deco, all of the pet deco, uh, many of the other pieces that are there, stick it back into storage uh, because it is very nice for us to be able to decorate with. Like some of these pieces I'm adding out now, uh, I do like them and I love the way that I place those down. Uh, this actual bird house with the white fence is absolutely stunning. It's one of my favorite pieces down there. Uh, I love the actual watchtowers for the birds on there as well. Uh, the actual carving of the birds as well are very good. And today I was looking at another request for this area. Somebody wants me to create a Halloween design and also a Thanksgiving design. And my friend Lisa shared uh, the actual carved turkey so maybe for a Thanksgiving design I should use the wooden carvings now another request I've had previously in the past and I've still got to do this one is using the actual chick decoration we get within the theme I've added a couple of pieces into this one or I will do by the time this design is done I think it's great I also love these seagull design pieces that came originally within the game as another option uh, the fact that they're flying around I can move them hide them behind the trees to get with the nest itself they're perfect in the town on the beachfront on the bottom left hand corner corner and they also look great if you place them behind the trees as though they are flying across your farm if you turn them in the same direction very very nice indeed as you can see there it does look pretty good uh, you can hide the base and have a few seagulls just above this is why I like the wonder tree as well because both these trees and this aspect give you the actual birds above the trees which is what I want to see more of as well uh, but because I haven't removed all of the existing decoration I'm very limited with what I can place down there so for the water feature I want to add in later into this because I want a bit of water down there as well I'm going to have to chop down some trees or remove the dead water as well I think that wonder tree I'm moving at the moment with that water base I want to bring it into the waterfall and make it very interesting so let's see how it goes when I start tweaking this one a little bit more. Now, as per my request on my social media for this themed area that I can decorate and make something small and interesting, um, what would you like me to do there? How would you like me to use the Heyday Deco? Now, I want to purposely keep it small, like I've got here one specific area. Um, because I think making lots of little areas within your farm for design aspects can be very cool and easily copied as well. Like this is two pieces of land wide as an example. Um, so it's very easy for you to create something like this within the farm within the same amount of space using your birds. Imagine having this going from the front of your farm to the back of your farm down one side. I think you would like this a lot and adding in some of the other bird decoration or the chick decoration like the actual chicks there reading books wonderful chick norris in the hay bale down there as though you're going to feed the animals itself you've got the wooden carved statue piece and other bits and bobs it's all about being creative move it around try different lines and see if you like it if you don't like it that's fine take it off and put it back Jumping again to the next bit, I'm adding in some of these beautiful trees that are across the road in the unopened area for some of us. Um, I can't wait till I actually open up my land in that area just so I can grab those. But again, it's just the one piece. Um, I'd love to be able to purchase more and more and more of these. Um, those hanging willow style trees are very pretty indeed and I do like them very much so. I like the fact that hey they did add in some autumn trees so we've got the larger ones and now we've got a smaller version and I think that's actually very cool and I can't wait for winter time. Fingers crossed they will add some more in as we move into the winter period as 
well. I'd like to see that. Now, this is the waterfall that I want to add in. I want to place it over the back here in this area here. So as I move in around, finding the ideal position, I've found what I want. So now we start to tweak it. I have had to remove the water pieces. I have also want to place the actual uh, wonder tree behind it because the water blends in, turn it sideways, and it creates a nice little waterfall style design. So I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit more just so it looks like the water's flowing in. Uh, maybe chop down some more trees, possibly. Not too much though, because I, I want to hide the actual blend. Right, now there is the design. So you wanted to know how many chicks or how many birds go into the birdhouse all of them fit and they can wander around you can make a nice design like you saw there uh, using a variety of different pieces uh, since it is the dev build I got a lot more choices and I will be more creative uh, there are some nice decoration coming for the event this week which is the dog kennel fingers crossed we can all get that one as well and I've got a nice little design which I've shared on my social media for you to have a look at that as well so let's go for for it more deco is going to be good right now there's your design can you copy it this is the whole farm uh, very pretty indeed now one thing I've always said in the past is look at other people's farms you don't have to copy everything but pick and choose specific areas you like and then add that to your design so from looking at my design here if you want to add little pieces here into your own please do so uh, even if you don't have the decoration, you can tweak it with other pieces indeed. And speaking of decoration, I don't have I don't have the tractors yet, so I have to keep going. Right, that's the end of my video. If you would like to support me, make sure you click on the C icon in the shop. Uh, go to uh, the green boxes, type in the code Red Knight R three D K N I G H T, and you will be supporting me. Also, in addition to this, you can actually subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscription there and watching other videos. I got a lot of cool videos down there you can also join me for my live streams but i'm going to say goodbye to you now i thank you for watching and good luck with your designs and see you next time bye now